YouTube this is Jenny I'm coming at you with another video so unfortunately it's that time of the month not that one paying bills time so since I have to pay my bills I thought I'd bring you along with me and kind of show you what I do to try to keep on budget and be able to pay all my bills and save some money and still have fun so please join me so as you can tell, I'm not at my desk. Um, I'm actually in the living room. Um, I usually pay bills in the living room while I watch TV. So I was just about to pay my bills and I thought this would be a kind of a fun learning, learning experience for everyone. So this is my bill binder. And there's nothing really fancy about it. It's actually a binder um, that I recycled from work that we were going through old documents, getting rid of them. And I just went ahead and took a binder so I can go ahead and organize my bills um, in it I have my um, return address labels as well as I have a couple of these envelopes I purchased them from um, Staples and Office Depot I prefer the Office Depot kind even though there might be a little bit price difference um, only because they're thicker but I know you can find something equivalent to this at Dollar Tree but like I said, I kind of like the thicker ones. Um, and this front pouch, I keep extra checkbook registers, some, um, what are these, sticky notes, uh, pens, pencils, eraser, uh, my checkbooks, um, as well as my bills. So when my bills come in during the month, I just go ahead and slip them in here so I don't lose them. Um, I'm not going to show you the next page because that's actually where my passwords are. Um, and as you can see, I do have tabs in here. Once again, I recycled them from work. Um, and I have them set up as a month lease from January through December. And I'm not going to show you my bills because it's a lot. And then I also have an extra tab where I keep my extra forms that I've made up. Um, for keeping track of my bills. My first one, oh, that's my work computer. Okay, so the first one is uh, monthly bills that set up for when we only have two paydays during the month. I go ahead and list all my bills here, as well as their um, due date, amount due, and the amount that I actually paid. Um, the amount due is never what I actually pay. I try to pay like on my credit cards, at least the minimum amount plus the interest um, on all my credit cards. So then that way, one, I can help pay them off faster and I'm not getting stuck with, you know, a lot of interest rates. Um, and then I also have one that I have set up for three paydays within the month, which I think for me usually comes like two or three times a year. Um, so I split them up between the three paydays of you know, what bills I'm going to pay on each day, on each payday, sorry. And again, the same thing. I have a due date, the amount due, as well as the amount paid. Um, and then I also have, if I still have it. Oh, there, no, that's not it. Where's it at? Sorry, I thought I had one left. Nope, I might have took it out. Well, I also do have one that I keep. Um, that I keep like a running list of all the bills that I have. Um, I do that to more or less to keep a track of them. Yeah, I don't have any more of those lists in here. I might have to print some more off. Um, I list all my bills, the dates that they're due, and the amount that's owed um, on it. And then if I, the last column that I have on that list is, you know, when it's paid off, once I pay it off, because what I try to do is when I pay them off, pay off a bill, that payments amount that I would normally pay, I put half into my savings and the other half goes towards another bill so I could pay that bill off faster. Um, this, these are some extra envelopes that I have. See, these ones are from Staples. They're not as thick, but it'll work. Um, I usually keep these in the back because I keep my medical receipts in here. And I also keep the last statement when I pay off a credit card. Um, we don't need to see that. 
it's just some financial information and any financial information i keep in a, in a separate little binder like anything from my school student loans um pertaining to my student loans um my 401ks and stuff like that i keep in this binder and then i also have a couple extra just in case you know they get old and tear and whatnot but that's basically what i do for keeping track of my budget now with my budgeting I split my bills up between my paydays. Um, basically, whatever's due at the beginning of the month, I pay at the end of the previous month. And whatever's due at the end of the month, I pay at the beginning of the month. So then that way I can keep ahead of everything. And it's kind of good to go ahead and, you know, write down all your bills that you owe. Um, I mean, every little bill. I found that for me, I find that's the best way to keep on track of it. I keep track of every bill I owe um, and I usually have a list of the amount ones but I need to print those off and the amounts that are owed to them so then hopefully I can formulate a plan especially the beginning of the year of when certain bills will be paid off and, and that way I can adjust the amount I'm putting into my savings for rainy days or emergencies that come up throughout the year um, as well as splitting up my payments, like the rent, I have two separate slots for rent. I take half the rent in the front, half of the rent on my second paydays. Um, so that way I'm not having to worry about paying the full amount out of one check. Um, and it just kind of helps to disperse the amounts that I owe and, um, hopefully leave me a little bit of money left over each payday so I can put some in savings and some I can go ahead and use, you know, for entertainment purposes or shopping or whatever I want to do for the month. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please go ahead and give it a like. Please go ahead and subscribe to my channel. I do various videos from, you know, going out to things, seeing things around San Diego to home life and, you know, spending time with my family as well as please share, share it on all your social media platforms as with, with your friends and family as well as go ahead and turn on the ringer. So then that way you'll be notified the next time I load a video. Thanks for watching. Bye.